So I am addressing zero to three months, the newborn stage. And so what I want to do is to help you delay the purchasing of these items and help you save space in your house, help you save your money as well. And also like just help you understand that the different milestones in a baby constantly changes and then needs change. So you don't need to have all of these upfront if you're currently pregnant or you're about to give birth. You can definitely wait when it comes to getting these items. So in the newborn stage, you don't need a car seat. You can delay in purchasing that. What we did is we got a capsule and your baby's so small anyway, like they, they're like falling in the capsule. So let alone a car seat. So yeah, you can hire a capsule for six months. That's what we did. And you can hire the adapter that locks onto your pram. So we have a Bugaboo Donkey Mono 3. And so we hired a capsule from one of the local businesses around. And then she gave us the Bugaboo Donkey adapter. So it was just so easy. We went to a restaurant, we went to the beach, we went to family parties, Christmas and everything. We went to so many gatherings and we just literally grabbed her, pulled her out and popped her in the pram if we needed to. Or we'd literally just carry the pram and go into the house or into a venue and it was easy. A change table, you don't need that. You don't need to buy, you don't need to borrow, you don't need to get it on Facebook Marketplace. It is a waste of space. You can change your baby on the floor. You can change your baby on the bed. You can change your baby on the couch. Yes, there will be a time when they will eventually roll and eventually crawl, but my baby at six months just hated lying down, hated it. I change her standing up now. I think she struggles at daycare. I mean, the daycare staff struggle because she refuses. So don't get it. It's a waste. You can get one of those change mats, those foamy ones, and you can invest in that, but just stack it up somewhere. Then when you need to change them, put it down, put a towel down, do it. White noise machine, you don't need it yet. Your newborn baby will sleep everywhere and anywhere. You can buy it at three months. Blackout curtains, you don't need that at newborn stage. You can buy that at three months. Baby monitor, you don't need that just yet. You can buy that at three months, just because from the newborn stage, you're always with them. Like I had a Moses basket. Even if I went to the toilet, I was watching her. <laughs> you don't need shoes and socks. They always fall off. If your baby is born in winter, just get them the onesies or the sleepers that cover their hands and feet. Swings and bounces, whether it's the expensive ones or the cheap ones, I don't recommend. You can get it at around the two month mark. The reason why I say it is just, I put my baby in the play gym, like straight up on the floor. And whether she was on her back or she was doing tummy time, she didn't need to be in a bouncer that young. By the way, if you are new, please subscribe. I'd love to connect with you. Um, I cover all things motherhood, lifestyle. I don't ramble. I get straight to the point. I love covering tips, tricks, and hacks. So please subscribe. High chair, you don't need it. You can buy it at around the six month mark. A large play mat or one of those, you know, soft foamy mats. You don't need that. Uh, you can buy that at around four months. Teether toys or all those things that they put in their mouth. Um, you don't need that uh, around two months. Playpen, uh, you don't need that just yet. You can only get that when they're crawling. So at around five months. Toys, you don't need toys. I didn't buy a toy at all up until six months. The only toys she had was the dangly things that came with the play gym. You know, those play gyms that have the little dome, little crossover dome and they're hanging. Eventually when she was crawling, I just unclipped it and I just kind of like spread it around in the playpen and she loved it. But yeah, they don't need toys at all. Baby led weaning tools or any feeding tools or any drinking tools, they don't need that up until six months. Baby proofing and baby safety things, you don't need that. You can buy that at around the six month mark. Hey mama, oh my gosh, I nearly forgot. You don't need a crib. Yes, you heard me. You don't need a crib, you don't need a cot. You might find that your baby cannot self-soothe and they constantly need co-regulation from you. And you might be doing bed sharing. Um, you might find that you might buy a bassinet or a Moses basket. A Moses basket is very cost effective with a stand. And then after three months, which is what I did, after the Moses basket, we used a pot cot, a travel cot, which some people use or call a pack and play. But that doesn't come with a mattress. So I bought a pot cot from Big W and I bought the mattress from Clark Rubber. At the time of filming this video, my baby is one year. So I want to try and delay the purchasing of any other furniture. And when she's maybe two, or maybe three, I don't know, I'm gonna go straight to a single bed. Okay, I don't wanna buy the progression of furniture and 
you know, waste, not waste money, but use up money, use up space, you know, put it away to Goodwill or other like landfill. I don't want to do that. So um, let's just see if I can go straight to a single bed, get a, you know, get the frames that come with it and one of those um, safety frames so that she doesn't fall off. And then we'll see, we'll see from there. Okay, so what do you need when it comes to zero to three months? Hmm. I have a video just here. See you on the next one. Bye.